Hi. Hi. Smithy, <laughs> what's happening here? Ooh. Making pizza. Pizza. Oh my god. And garlic bread. And garlic bread. I'll wait for this to open up. Alexa has been kept for 15 minutes for this garlic bread. What's happening? So I like to do like tray bakes for okay. pizza parties. And uh, so this is some olive oil. Okay. okay. And most of these things are Indian, so I'm very proud of that. Nice. This is a little bit of now I just like to create like this base. So okay. that our uh, pizza comes out nice and crispy on the bottom. Yum. Nice. What are you you're weighing the dough? Yep. Okay. For the pizza. And then this is my very wet pizza dough. Okay. I like this kind of pizza dough for this type of pizza. And so it's like a you hear the chatter on the back. Yeah. <laughs> um so I just really like this because it's, it's it'll be very dimply. It will have so much of air. It'll be like a very chewy dough. Okay. And very easy to work with. So it's definitely not for one of your uh, circular pizzas, but it's gonna be so good. Nice. This looks interesting. So not all pizzas need to have a tomato base. Okay. This is going to be like a white pizza, so it's got this like garlic herb oil on the bottom. Okay. And then more stuff on top. Got it. Something's cooking. Or is about to cook. Okay. Damn. So the key is that your uh, pizza dough shouldn't be swimming in sauce. Okay. Just just enough to coat the bottom. I know you don't agree. <laughs> but can you put some of this be. in my mouth directly? <laughs> Off camera, yes. <laughs> At this garlic MB. bread, on ciabatta bread. Nice. So now the mozzarella, this is farm made mozzarella, I like to use as many good clean ingredients as possible. Awesome. Then it goes back into the oven. More cheese is always welcome. This is Pecorino Romano. Pecorino Romano. Actually it's not Pecorino Romano, it's just Pecorino. Remember we got it from Romano, yeah. from that little yes. shop. Near so uh, what was that place? That market? Yeah. Campo di Fiori. Campo di Fiori. <laughs> Ali, no. <laughs> hey, round two. So this is going to have round two. Yeah, Where's I mean. Round one. Tomato sauce. Oh, okay. So this is marinated. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, check out that. Cool, we have garden. marinated uh, capsicums. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, like the liquid has come off. This yeah. is very delicious, but we don't need it on our pizza. Yeah. Okay. Just putting that. I like to marinate it in some olive oil, salt, and pepper and some okay. herbs okay. because then it has like more flavor, you know, compared to vegetables uh, on their own. I mean, they are tasty on their own. Sure. Got it. But this way, you just get a little bit extra. You know? Okay. Three. There's no round three. It's <laughs> just the same pizza. No? <laughs> so we're just putting some pickled onion. This is pickled in some lemon juice and some salt. Okay. And just... So I do most of my prep work for pizzas one day ahead of time because I just like to you know, put on the AC and just get dressed and make pizzas and not having yeah. to do any prep work on the yeah. day off. What's happening here? So this is for the green apple and camembert uh, pizza. Oh, nice. Yep. Which is not going to have any tomato sauce. It's going to be the white pizza. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so interesting. 
This is that yeah. green apple and camembert. Yes. So on one side I'm going to make green apple and camembert. On the other side I'm going to make mushroom and truffle. Nice. Looks like our garlic bread is done here. Can't wait yes. to get it outside. Okay. God damn. On this side the mushrooms. Again I have marinated them previous night. So marinated just means in this case I've just put olive oil, salt, pepper and a little bit of rosemary and it comes out really delicious when it goes into the oven and oh, yeah. bakes. Okay. Yes! Pepper? Do you want some pizza bro? Pizzas have gone in. You want to see what it looks like? Yeah. Ready? Mm. Oh damn. <laughs> How's it? Ooh. This is Starter the, course. Yeah. And the homemade marinara or like the pizza sauce which we used for the pizzas. Okay. Very nice. This is a bread and camera. Sub coach. Gigi. Gigi. Peppa. Pizza. Guys. Just look at this. So amazing. Whoa. So it's not done yet. Okay. So you put cheese on it. Now we are going it. to add the cooked stuff. So we have some. What is this? Brinjans. Brinjans. Oh, so cool. So pre-roasted. So we don't put this in earlier because we don't have a pizza oven to cook our uh, pizza in like a minute, right? Got it. So when it goes for a longer time in the oven after getting already cooked, it just sort of burns and gets overcooked. So we add it. Later, okay. as much or as little as you want, and yeah. then the cheese. Oh. Now I don't like to add cheese uh, in the first round because again, the cheese gets overcooked and it loses its sort of that creamy nature and becomes all stringy and tough. Okay. So uh, by doing it like this, you just sort of get the best of both worlds, you know, get the perfect it. consistency. And it seals up everything nicely. So it's gonna go back into the oven for about six to seven minutes and then we eat. Okay. Man, this one also looks like amazing. Wow, if simplicity had a pizza face. So this one I made a little bit thinner. Okay. Um just because the nature of the topping is such and then so here we have brie. I believe I said camembert before, but it's brie. Okay. And over this lovely apples, which have, you know, as you can see, reduced down. Okay. So what happens is that sweet apples, salty brie. We're going to have some uh, walnuts or some almonds on top. And it's going to be like umami, you know. Nice. Okay. What's so happening on now? This, I'm adding this vegan cheese sauce I made because some people that we dine with they don't eat cheese. Okay. So I like to make this this not right now it looks very liquid and as if it's gonna be a soupy mess, but once it goes into the oven it's gonna set and okay. will be very delicious. And we are gonna finish this off with some truffle on top. So, so top notch. God. Top notch. Damn. Wow. <laughs> This just came out of the oven. Look at this. Oh, oh my this god. Yes, and I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on top. Because it always, you know, finishes everything. Yeah. Are you excited to eat? Are you excited? Yes. So this is what the stuff was on for. What's happening here? So, uh, this is a stone tawa basically. Okay. We call it like um, kalchatti. Like okay. Kal tawa. And this basically crisps up 
the bottom of the Understood. because we don't have a pizza oven here right like yeah. on generally if you see a pizza oven wood fired oven they would just put it on the surface right on yeah. the surface and the surface sort of gets because the surface of the oven is so hot it gets yeah. crispy yeah. right we want that same effect but at home so this Understood. is my little jugar for that got it kya maza aa raha hai khate hue <laughs> okay, so um, this is going to be a simpler pizza. So it has a base of that, uh, you know, that tomato sauce that we made, and okay. this is some pesto that we made oh, yesterday. Yeah. And I'm sort of mixing it. It's weird, but it's very delicious. And Malika really loves it. So I thought nice. we can make one of, you know, nice. that's the good part about making. Um, Having like pizza parties, yeah. Literally put anything on the pizza according to what people like. Correct. Okay, so What's up? Look at this beauty, man! So cool. Are you getting it out now? Ooh, great effect, sir. Very hot. Oh my god. What's happening here? Just chopping some almonds to go on top of our apple and. Three pizza. Oh, nice! Comes my favorite step. Truffle. We are Russian truffles. We got it from Italy. Oh my God! Look at the size of that truffle. The whole pizza party is actually happening for this truffle. Isn't yeah, it? man. So we can share it with our family. Oh my God! I'm going to dig That's into it. this one. That's it. So the apple and the three pizza, and then we have the almonds. And a little bit of onion drizzle. Nice. So cool. Hear that sound? Ooh, damn. Yep. Okay, so this is that this simple is pizza margarita with, with uh, pesto. Pesto, yeah. And I'm oh. gonna put some more pesto on top because why not? Right. Loving the crunch sound. Ooh, you wanna see the texture? Yeah. Look at that. Damn. It's very, very hard though. Here we are. Crispening up the base. Crispening and crunching up the base. Okay, finishing up the pesto, pesto. pizza with yeah. olive oil. Nice. Oil. You said this was Mali's favorite, right? Yes. I hope she likes it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Moment of truth. The chef's words. Mm. I can see it in your eyes, you yeah. Try. <laughs> yeah, I will. Umar Smriti, try it, nee. Our Papa, what a fun! Short, 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 Truffle time. Okay, truffle it up. Yup, yup, yup. Do this as many times as you want. Can you do it all again. <laughs> Can I day? shave it into your mouth as well? Yeah, that would be perfect. Look <laughs> at this. We still have so much pizza to eat. Yeah, man. <laughs> Final pizza. How's the joke? 